Hello again my friends and welcome back to my Iceland vlog part 2. If you haven't seen the first part, I put a link to it in the description. By the end of part 1, we were driving back from the Black Beach to our Airbnb. And on our way back, we saw the Northern Lights. Which I can sadly only show you some pictures of, because our videos apparently couldn't handle this amount of beauty and just looked like crap. For the next day, we had a big trip planned. Our trip to the Jökull Salon Glacier was one of my absolute highlights. The glacier was around 5 hours away from our Airbnb, so we knew that we wanted to stay overnight to be able to truly enjoy this area of the island. Luckily, there were a lot of other beautiful spots on our way to the glacier, so the 5 hours went by easily. We arrived at the glacier at sunset and dipped in this golden light, this icy landscape looked just as magical as we imagined it to be. There wasn't a lot of time for us to relax and enjoy this beautiful scenery though, since the sun was setting really fast and we also wanted to take some pictures in front of the ice. So we had a super fast and freezing cold photo shooting. But like always, in hindsight, it was absolutely worth it. We quickly changed into our warm clothes and stayed at the glacier until the sun completely set. We arrived at our Airbnb super late in the evening. Pretty exhausted from the hours of driving and the cold photo shooting in between. So all we wanted to do was to eat and relax. The next day we got up at 4 am to have our next photo shooting at the Diamond Beach. We planned to take the pictures during sunrise on the beach, so we hopped into our car around 5 am. Little did we know that our planning was a complete fail, since the sky was grey and full of clouds that day. So no real sunrise for us, but therefore lack of sleep. Despite the freezing temperatures and the sleep deprivation that day, the Diamond Beach was still one of my favorite locations from our whole trip. With the black mountains in the back and the crystal clear ice lying on the black sand while you could see the wild waves of the Atlantic crushing on the shore, it's been one of the most otherworldly landscapes I've ever seen. We were crazy tired when we drove back but we had only a few hours left at our Airbnb. So we switched into warm and comfortable clothes and packed our bags again. On our way back to the west coast, we saw countless fields of volcanic stone covered in the famous Icelandic moss. So we decided to take some pictures near it. What is always called Icelandic moss is actually a very delicate fungi and it can be easily destroyed when people step or even sit on it. It actually takes ages to regrow so we were super careful to only step on the grass in between the moss and not on the moss itself. If you are in Iceland, please be very careful with going into these fields, since even the ground with the grass on it wasn't very stable.
Our next stop was the Skaftafell National Park. We had to walk on top of a mountain to see the beautiful Svartifoss that lies inside the park. As you can imagine, this was pretty exhausting due to our lack of sleep and Romina was so tired that she decided to wait for us at the car. The three of us wanted to give it a try though and after quite a long hike, we finally arrived at Svartifoss. Svartifoss means black waterfall. And looking at the beautiful black basalt columns surrounding it, you can guess why. Svartifoss was really beautiful and worth the hike and the hike. We were completely exhausted when we came back to our Airbnb and just had a cozy night in and went to sleep pretty early. Thanks to our past selves though, we had a spa day planned the next day. So no traveling for once, just swimming and relaxing. And let me tell you, the Blue Lagoon is definitely worth a visit. Is it crowded and expensive? Yes. Is it a lot of fun and despite the amount of people still relaxing? Hell yes. And I loved every minute of this experience. It was the perfect way to regenerate. And we truly needed it, because not everything went according to plan the next day. This was actually supposed to be our last day in Iceland. But due to the current global situation and overall confusion of the airlines during this time, our flight was cancelled without the airline informing us. So of course that meant quite a lot of chaos and hours of phone calls, trying to find a new flight and a place to stay for the next few days. Luckily, we could manage everything and the host of our Airbnb was extremely kind and let us stay for a few days more. So, recovered from that shock and knowing that we could stay a few days longer, we planned in some extra activities, like hiking to the Reykjadalur hot springs. One of the most fun things we did during our stay in Iceland. So our flight being cancelled was actually a blessing in disguise. The hike up to the mountain was pretty exhausting and showed me once again that I'm not nearly doing enough sports at home. As you can see from me saying that I was exhausted all the time. Another fun fact, I'm actually afraid of heights. So every time Leon, Romina and Dustin wanted to take some pictures in front of a cliff, I got pretty panicky and I felt like I had to puke. Why still hike on top of a mountain then? Well, I don't want this fear to limit the things I can and want to do, so I'm just trying to live with it and not puke. Finally, we reached the top and could hop into the water, which was actually really, really hot, around 40 degrees. So every time one of us felt dizzy, we sat down at the gangplank, decided to drink some water and eat some snacks. The next day we had a tiny tour planned to see a few more waterfalls in the area. Haifoss and Jalpafoss were beautiful and we were also completely alone in these areas. Talking about not wanting to puke, the cliffs around Haifoss were stunning. But I was also quite afraid to stand there while the winds were blowing like crazy. Our next stop was the beautiful Cliff. I will just put the name in. And I'm even speaking a Germanic language, but I can't pronounce this. This was our last long day trip through the island. On our last day, we wanted to visit Reykjavik again to see some of the locations we lost out on the first day. Like the Sun Voyager and the Punk Museum. So, with our journey coming to an end, we thought about all the beautiful adventures we had in the last two weeks.
The next morning we flew back home to Germany, extremely happy and thankful for everything we experienced during our time on this magical island. Thank you all so much for watching my Iceland vlogs. They literally took me forever to edit, but seeing all this footage again reminded me of this beautiful time, especially in the last few months when the weather got colder and darker and traveling seemed absolutely unthinkable for the next few months. I hope that these videos can bring you some joy and that it can remind you as well of the good things that will be able again in the future. I don't know if you remember the stones that I found at the Skogafoss in my first Iceland vlog. I hinted at it back then, but I finally finished the jewelry designs that I wanted to make with them. And they will be available at my shop Best Mama on Etsy. I put a link to my shop in the description for every one of you that would like to make one of these beauties their own. Thank you so much again for all your support and I hope that I will see you soon. Have a beautiful day and most important, stay safe. Bye bye.